the objective of this video is to explain the concept of the limit of a function numerically. Let function fx be defined by the formula x2 minus 4 over x minus 2. If we try to find f of 2, we get 2 squared minus 4 over 2 minus 2, which gives 0 over 0. So f of 2 is undefined. 0 over 0 does not give a real number. Let's rewrite f of x in simpler form as follows. We factor the numerator x minus 2 x plus 2 over x minus 2 and it gives x plus 2 with the condition x not equal to 2. So fx is equal x plus 2 with x not equal to 2. So our function is not defined when x equal to 2 but we can always ask the question what happened to our function as x get closer and closer to 2? We will answer the question by examining the values of the function as x approaches 2 by values smaller than 2. This is the situation number 1 here. We will also look at the values of the function when x approaches 2 from values larger than 2, which is the situation number 2 here. We don't even need a calculator to find the values of fx when x equal to minus 1, it's 1, 0 gives me 2, when x equal to 1, 3, 3.5, 3.9, 3.8, 3.99. In the second table, x approaches from the right, approaches the value 2 by values uh, greater than 2. So when x equal to 4, we have 6 here, here 5, 4.5, this is 2.5, 4.1, 4.01, 4.2, 4.3, 4.4. We can continue finding values of the function as x approaches 2 for as many uh, values as we want. Now, we will graph fx around x equal to 2 to understand uh, uh, graphically what is happening at around that point. When x equal to minus 1, um, f of x is equal to 1, so 1 point here. When x equal to 0, f of x equal to 2, y equal f of x here. When x equal to 1, we have 3. When x equal to 2, we have an open circle because the function is undefined. When x equal to 3, we have f x is 5. When x equal to 4, we have 6. Let's draw the function which is a linear function. So the function is undefined at x equal to 2. We note that as x approaches 2 from the left or by smaller values, and then the values here that we calculated here and here, now we stop it at 3.999, but we could continue for as long as we can clo stay closer to, to 2. So as x approaches 2 from the left, fx approaches 4. Same thing is happening when x approaches 2 from the right by larger values than 2. And then the values here that were calculated, 2.001, 2.0001. Now we stop it at this value, but we could continue for as long as we want. So again here, it approaches 4. We will now introduce the concept of limit and write that the limit of fx 
as x approaches 2 by values smaller than 2 equal to 4, the limit of fx as x approaches 2 by values larger than 2 is equal to 4, and the limit of fx when x approaches 2 is equal to 4 because the two limits are equal. What is important here is to understand that although the function is undefined at x equal to 2, the limit um, as x approaches 2 does exist and is equal to 4. We now look at this example. It's a function um, defined by a graph. The graph has an open circle here and here meaning that f of 1 is undefined. Now let's look at uh, the behavior of this function as we approach 1 from the left or by values smaller. So 0, half, very close to 1. And when x is close to 1, the function approaches negative 1. Now let's approach x equal to 1 from the right, so x equal to 2, x equal to 1 half, and then x very close to 1, the function approaches plus 1. In this case, we are going to say that the limit of fx as x approaches 1 from the left is equal to minus 1. The limit of fx as x approaches 1 from the right is equal to 1. But the limit of fx as x approaches 1 does not exist because the two limits from the left and from the right are different.